ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर बैक ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट स्पीड हंड्रेड वर्ड पर मिनट सर कैलाश चंद्रा वॉल्यूम वन स्टार्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू गिव पब्लिसिटी टू मिनिस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटीज एंड इट इज इन एविटेबल दैट सम सच पब्लिसिटी शुड बी गिवेन बिकॉज मिनिस्टर्स आर इन चार्ज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बट वन अब्रॉड डज नॉट गेट ए रियल आइडिया ऑफ वट इज हैपनिंग इन द कंट्री आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट फॉर द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्ट्री दैट दे शुड सेंड ए फोर्ट नाइटली असेसमेंट ऑफ वट इज happening in india written dispassionately not to please a minister or to highlight something that he has done but to give an objective assessment of uh, what is going on in the country in the old days when the british government was in existence such fortnightly reports used to be sent by various state governments and i think a beginning can be made in that direction in this matter stanza the other point i would like to suggest is that publicity is a complicated and technical matter the foreign service as it is constituted today does not have sufficient training in publicity the estimates committee which went into the demands of the external affairs ministry mentioned about the methods of training which have been adopted but Uh, publicity work and one sees for example that a lot of confusion has arisen in the united states over ambassador nehru ji statement i think the external affairs ministry might well set up a committee of members of parliament who are conversant with external publicity and some newspaper men to advise the external affairs ministry from time to time i do not think that the committee will ask for information which is confidential or secret but they can assist the newspaper men there are a handful of commit uh, competent uh, men who would be willing to serve on the committee in an advisory capacity they would be able to tell the external affairs ministry what should be done in order that our news publicity uh, abroad is better i might mention also that the estimates committee had recommended the creation of a cultural cell stanza sir to my mind we have also to be clear in our mind regarding the object of rural industrialization do we mean to have only diversification of rural economy and are we going to have rural industrialization only in order to give some help to those who find themselves unemployed during a certain period of the year are we aiming at utilizing local resources and meeting local needs uh, through diversification of rural economy or have we a more fundamental objective in mind when we are trying to industrialize uh, the rural areas without this i am afraid rural industrialization will not be possible stop